Hey guys, what's going on? This is Darth and Somnus. Welcome back to Firewatch. So in the last episode, I couldn't figure out where the hell to go to get across this river. And I'm just really freaking dumb because all I had to do is walk right here. It's a long drop. And it was like right there too. So like this entire time I was running around being like, where do I go? And it was like, all I had to go is like right here. Well, just a really good thing now that we got that handled. Alright, now we can make our way to the next part of the freaking game. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weedle do it. <laughs> All right, well, I thought that was lit for a second. Old shelter. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Okay. Also, it has been a little bit since I've played this game, so I'm gonna need to figure out all the controls again. Okay, there we go. So I think we need to go this way. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Squad boss Grant Carson, July 10th, 1989. Bum, 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 bum. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshun National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. <clears throat> I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildlife concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildlife or wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them that they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Did it okay. say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like... If you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Alright. Um, we will keep that. 
All right, so I guess I'm just going to look around here and see if I can find any supplies. Because I can't go over there yet because I don't have anything. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Okay. Well, lovely. So, looks like... Again, I'm just going to need to see if I can find anything. <clears throat> but yeah, that's kind of weird, though. <gasps> uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Aww, ye. We got ourselves an axe, please. Wait, so that means I could just go over here and... Oh yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, there's no... I thought you could go there for some reason, but I guess not. Um, so... Oh, I thought I could do a long jump. Oh, damage tree. fun so now we gotta oh I thought that led somewhere for some reason um let's just go this way but yeah that's so so strange because again like I haven't played this in a while so I forgot the plot are you there I I had a thought hey speaking of plot let's hear it you heard someone in the bushes yeah Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Oh, fuck. oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? Oh, fuck. No. Not without tapping our radios. Uh-oh. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Uh. Okay. Ooh, that got creepy pretty quick. So there's definitely some crazy dude just out here. It's a bit freaky, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, this is bad news bears. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is- I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, 
Have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Okay. Um... So would it be Cottonwood? Oh, we're going back there. Fuck. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back there. Ooh, boy. Okay, well, at least I know how to get there this time. Well, yeah. What freaked me out was like I heard this, like the bushes moving around. I'm like, oh Jesus, this is not for me. Okay, and then, well, yeah. It looks like I'm heading off into the right directions. Yeah. I don't want any of that. Okay, let's keep going. And if I remember correctly... Okay, yeah, we're getting close. So we're heading south. Let me just... No. Oh, God damn it! Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just didn't want to get into my camera right now. Fuck off. You know what? In case this game decides it's gonna pull some funny business, I'm turning my game volume down. There's gonna be none of that shenanigans right now. Yeah, this is where I was supposed to be at, right? Yeah, I'm right here. So am I supposed to... Yeah, because it says I'm here. I'm at Cottonwood Creek right now.
I'll just go back to where I was, I guess. Because I'm assuming that there's going to be a place where I need to talk to her. Did I seriously lose where I was just at? Wait, no. I hear the water. Yeah, so I'm here. says I made it so it's like this not where I'm supposed to be or something or am I supposed no that's the June fire so yeah I've made it is this gonna be like another episode where I'm just too stupid to know where to go because I made it like this is the creek Am I supposed to go to the cache? I mean, it's worth a shot, I guess. I guess this is the only other place I can think of. I've already done that. Um, so I think what I'll do is before the end of the episode, I'll just go over there as quick as I can and I'll see what happens. Because maybe I am supposed to go to that cache. <clears throat> maybe that's what I'm just doing wrong is that I should go check out over there. Because yeah. It's not giving me any prompts to talk to anybody right now. Uh, I really don't like this one bit. Okay. Okay, I'm here. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, That's what I thought. Must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Okay, well, never mind. Got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Okay, so that's what we were doing. Whatever these people are doing. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? 
radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. Uh-oh. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Oh, God. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. To get into that site, call me when you find something. Yeah, we need fucking answers now. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ, man! This episode certainly got a little bit more interesting at the last little bit of it. All right, and then this is something we already opened. All right, so this is where I'm gonna end this episode. Next episode, we're gonna get up into that gated area, whatever it is, and we're gonna get to the bottom of this we're gonna find answers yeah this is pretty stressful and whoever's in the woods doing this is a real dick bag so hopefully we'll get answers and we can figure out a way to stop that guy and force him to chill the fuck out so but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you guys think that this whatever like is interesting I'm glad that you guys are um, sticking around to watch it if you guys think that this little video deserves a like, you know, I appreciate every like that I get. And I look forward to seeing them, and it's always appreciated. So anyway, I'm going to head off for now. Hope you guys have a rest of a good day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.